Greetings everyone, welcome to another video in uh oh, well on this YouTube channel. Let's 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 do an update of the of our vCenter to the latest uh, version 8.0 uh, update 2a in this case. So let's go into our uh VAMI console. Uh let's go into the update. You can see that I have here a few updates. I have not been updating my VCCA for quite a long time. Uh, one from the 24th of October. That's very nice. Um, I would recommend, of course, do backups or check that your backups for the or your configuration, it's, uh, they've been working. Mine, that have been working just perfectly. Um, I think maybe some error uh, on the first one, but they have been running uh, on the 20th of November. So that is perfectly fine. Um, you have another blog where I explain all of this, uh, all of this configuration for the backup of the VCCA configuration. I'll totally recommend you to take a look into that in, in the case that you're not doing it. And of course, protected it with uh, with a normal backup uh, vendor like Veeam, for example. But just keep the configuration um, as well. Let's do the stage and install as per usual. Let's go next. Um, this is going to run in the pre-update checks over here. And well, it's telling me that uh, the backup is uh, 24 hours older, so I want to take another one, but I will say no in this case. Um, now the process is going to start downloading everything that is required. I'm going to accelerate the process. This didn't take the didn't took the 35 minutes that it says. Um, it just took around 10, 15. It will depend of. Um, of the disks where the VCCA are and how many history you have, you know, about uh, the, the, the whole stats and so on. So, and as you could see, I was in a very old release uh, as well. So I, it, it's upgrading like, like three or four um, releases um, towards the future. So that was very nice. Update uh, eight, you know, uh, version eight, update 2A was released not that long ago. And now that it, when it has finished, just take a look into the, let's take a look uh, into the VCCA once again, into the VAMI console, let's see. Maybe the services are still, um, still booting up. Okay, that's, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, the installation has been succeeded. And let's see what release do we have uh, over here. Yeah, that's the version 8.0.2 and then 100. That is uh, update uh, version 8 update 2a. So that is very nice. Uh, it's all up to date, finally. I've been uh, looking forward to update uh, this for a long time. And now let's log in into the normal uh, vSphere client to take a look into what's into what's new here. Probably this is more about the what's new in uh, update uh, in update two, uh, not just update two a because it's just some bug fixes. But let's take a look. So one of the first things that we can take a look, if you want, it is the new uh, the new update for the vCenter server that we can find over here. Um, this is same to uh, under the vCenter on top updates, and you can see a new a new section here called vCenter server. So we can go do upgrade and pre-checks and so on. I'm not going to do any because uh, I am already on the latest uh, release. But as you can see over here, this is aim to reduce the downtime upgrade of the of the vCenter for the future and the normal uh, host images. So very nice. I will. Do another video in the future when when a new release uh, appears using this new functionality. Uh, VMware says that it will take around less than five minutes to upgrade this. So, um, we'll we will we'll take a look into that when uh, when a new version uh, come uh, comes out. Of course, so yeah, the process is quite easy, right? Mount the ISO, do the backup, it updates the plugin, configure the new center, and then upgrade and switch over. It's it's pretty much kind of like uh, what you do when when you upgrade into a new major release. Um, so we'll see we'll see how it goes um, on the next uh, on the next releases when something uh, major uh, comes. Another uh, uh, new functionality, I already noticed it before, but uh, perhaps it didn't have this, the actions. Uh, now under the certificate management and the administration, you can see the main three SSL certificates and from here you can just renew them, uh, or refresh, import, and so on. So 
This seems to be new. Uh, perhaps before it was just view details or the actions were more limited. So that is new as well as part of the uh, update too. Um, certificates are always so, so tricky. So please make sure that you have backups or snapshots before you uh, mess around with the uh, with the SSL certificates. And in the case that you mess around, um, I have a blog post about uh, LSA Doctor as well that it will help you to resolve um, any SSL certificate issues that you might have anyways. So let's take a look into what uh, what else is here. It's some updates as well for the networking, uh, for backups of the networking, but I don't have NSX, so I cannot show you that. But I can show you perhaps the new, uh, oh, this seems a bit more, uh, the graph seems a bit more new or fresh compared with my previous uh, update. Perhaps I was in a very old update, but uh, yeah, looks much, I don't know, more blue. Okay, well, this is this is the same, but at least the summary, it looked different to me. Um, so now under configure of the cluster, you can see something called desired state for the images and for the configuration. This desired state, you can update here uh, your specific uh, JSONs if you want, you know, um, and you can just uh, make sure that all of the hosts they have that desired state that you want uh, for example something about the configuration of the N ntp configuration you know um, all of that you will be able to, uh, to to configure it and then after that apply this this configuration to all to all of the hosts uh, it's taking here some time but you just get the idea of this. And there are so many other updates, like, for example, the Windows guest customization as well, uh, in the case that you're using VM uh, customization specifications, and as well some uh, improvements for Visa and Witness, but I don't have a Visa and Witness at the moment, and some updates as well, uh, very uh, imp very good improvements for the uh, workload uh, performance using GPUs, which I don't have any GPU at the moment on my cluster. And as well, I can see some uh, improvements to uh, and some innovation for the DevOps, right? So the deployment, the supervisor cluster, uh, it has been much, much, uh, much easier to the point that now you can upload even a specific file, right? With, uh, with all of your configuration. Uh, so with the vCenter, vCenter address, for example, data center, all the master storage policy, you can just upload that 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 file, you know, the JSON file, and all of your uh, supervisor uh, is going to look uh, exactly uh, how the JSON is is uh, is configured. So much better than before when you needed to do go through steps, and then sometimes you can you could make some mistakes on that. So. Uh, some improvements as well on the NSX advanced load balance support, but I do not have any NSX as I said before, so I cannot uh, take a look into that. Um, and some, well, since update one, right, uh, it, it was introduced as well uh, as well support for the VM service uh, uh, to deploy uh, customized Linux uh, based virtual machines from content libraries. So those improvements on the uh for but this is again for the supervisor cluster anyway so i cannot show you any of those but what i show you today it's how to do, make the upgrade we go through this many times right and we as well uh, follow the best practices uh, making sure of the backup and we take a quick look into what's new for the for the update too so i think i'm gonna play now with the um with that cluster uh, desired state because that is very important for me. I'm tired of making these small configurations uh, on all of the clusters, right? So I, I think this is going to be very appreciated, uh, this uh, this desired state for uh, for the host. So I'll show you as well the new upgrade uh, of the vCenter when a new major release uh, comes as well. So uh, that's it all. Um, thank you for watching and hope to see you in another videos. Thanks. Bye.